might be late for school today, but I think I can make it. By the way, I was really tired this morning. I don't drink coffee all the time, but I've been trying out this new coffee. It's called Mr. Brown's Blue Mountain Blend. It's made in Taiwan. Just I'm walking back from school. Headphones crapped out on me. So dumb. They're like some Walmart headphones, but they're they're whatever. This thing right here got me in trouble in school today. I didn't really get like in really in trouble. I've gotten talked to a couple times because I was wearing this hat. Uh, I got yelled at because at our school there is like a policy or something where you can't wear a hat unless it's like your religion or culture. Like you need to wear like a like a a turban or something like that. The teacher was really disgusted at me. Like like I was doing something really really wrong. And I was like, like, we don't live in like older times. My hair is very long. I need a hat because so, if I don't have a hat and I'm walking around and stuff, it will go like this. I promise you that. By the way, I need a haircut. I know. This hat makes it so my hair doesn't go in front of my face. The times that I think that you, can, you shouldn't wear a hat, um, at least I don't, is during the national anthem and during prayer. So yeah, those are like my two things. There might be more, but I can't think of any to not wear a hat. It's so dumb. I can get in trouble at school for wearing this on my head. And they say it's a distraction. How is this a distraction? This is a beige, like, khaki-colored hat. Is this a distraction, guys? Guys, is this, is this a distraction? <laughs> it's, it's just so dumb. I don't know why I'm ranting. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I told you guys, but... Dude, I always break these part of the headphones, and I bought, like, these cheap ones from Walmart, but they still broke. I didn't expect much because I got these from Walmart, but I even bought expensive ones on Amazon, and they still broke. So dumb. What are you smiling at me for? <laughs> so, the motorized, uh... I'm gonna include some clips right now of yesterday. The bike's been riding phenomenal. All week it's been reliable and great. And then I wanted to drive the motorized bike to school on Monday. Today is Wednesday. And uh, the night before Monday, so that would be Sunday night, I was mobbing around at like 40 miles per hour. And the next morning when I tried to start it to go to school, it doesn't wanna start. So then I'm like, okay, try to start it. And then after a thousand tries later and checking everything, it starts. But then it's like making like a weird popping noise and then it would just quit. I'm like, that's weird. Today, I opened up the head. And before I opened up the head, I looked on the side of the head to see the gasket and I saw oil coming out of it. So, I'm going to show you guys what happened. So, as you can see, there is a lot of carbon buildup. That's mostly like, let's see if I wipe it right now. Yeah, that's mostly just the, the paint, I guess, on there. So, I got to clean that off with something. So, I kind of, I didn't blow a head gasket, but my head was lifting. I didn't tighten it hard enough. I didn't even tighten it. I got the bike and I I I I don't have the socket to check to tighten the head bolts. So I didn't bother to tighten the head bolts. Well, now you know, check your head bolts because my head lifted and so now I'm having these problems. I don't even know how I got it off. But yeah, see, this is what happens when your head lifts. I know that it lifted 100% because just look at the gasket. There should be no oil on the gasket. That means it wasn't tightened hard enough, so oil got in the middle of the gaskets. That's just, and look, even around, not even on the gasket, like around the, around the, I guess, block, there's oil. 
So, this thing was running reliable. It's not the bike's fault. It's totally my fault because I did not check the bolts. Oh, and also, you guys might be wondering why there is Supreme stickers. No, I am not a hype beast. I don't own no Yeezys, no Supremes, none of that. Uh, these are fake Supreme stickers, by the way. But uh, I dented my gas tank and it chipped away the paint. A couple stickers will fix it. Honestly, guys, this thing is so reliable. It Okay, that's pretty ironic because the head, but that's my fault. This thing's pretty reliable. Uh, the sprocket bolts are kind of loose, but the chain's not popping off, so I think we're good. And last my mo my last motorized bike had so many chain problems. This time has none. So. Um, I just went to Walgreens to get a socket this size to tighten down the head bolt. I got this tool set right here. Uh, it was like 11 bucks, kind of overpriced for this little piece, I guess, but whatever. Uh, and now I have the socket to tighten down the head bolts. Alright, so everything is tight. I tightened it as evenly as possible. I think I did a good job tightening. Okay, so yesterday I tried starting this. But I'm gonna try starting this right now and maybe it'll work. I'll come back. No luck. Uh, it started for a little bit, but then it died out. So, I'm gonna check over everything like the carburetor, the spark plug, uh, the bolts and how I tightened them down and everything. It seems like a carburetor problem, but I don't know, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna put some new spark plugs in it, I think. Maybe the spark plug's issue, I don't know. We're just gonna send it though. A comparison of the new spark plug and the old spark plug. Whoa! Dude, I switched out the spark plug! And I was messing with the idle a little bit before I changed the spark plug, but I forgot to change that. And I, I started it up, all of a sudden it just starts going so fast. Like, it felt, I think, I think it was a spark plug. Yes, yes, it finally works. I readjusted the throttle. Guys, I have some really bad news for you guys. How do I say this? So, like I said, I said I got it running, right? Um, I went and rode it around and then it like died out. I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then started it up again and I, I put my hand right where the head goes and I felt air. So I'm like, oh, I guess it just needs to be tightened more the head. Well, I think I tightened it too much. I don't know if you guys can see, there is a fine crack. Oh yeah, you guys can see that. And uh, yeah, my head cracked. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little bit oil in the gasket. Oh, this sucks a lot. Um, I'm gonna disassemble this and then see what I'm gonna do next. I don't know if it's because I over tightened it, or if I overheated it, it could be a mix of both, don't really know. When I was riding it around the block though, I did hear a ting, like a really loud ting. Okay, we're gonna assess the damages. Let me focus the camera. If you guys can see this white crack, it goes all the way across, and then uh... Uh, the crack goes right here, and then it goes all the way. It's like on the very edge. I wonder if if I bend it like forward, if the whole thing would just crack open. Okay, so it's like actually pretty sturdy still. But you guys see that little crack? Man, that sucks, because that little, little, little thing...